we talked about it in class how inequalities are unlike equalities that they have more than one answer. Many times there's infinitely many answers. That's one difference. Second difference is you can't switch the variable and the number. You can't switch sides without switching the inequality symbol. The third thing is watch out for those negatives, as this says. So most of these um, first two pages, pages five and six, we're ju I'm just going to read through rather quickly. Um, take some time and look it over yourself as well. Uh, let's decide if performing the same operation to both sides of an e inequality is the same as um, doing it with an equality or an equation. Is it the same? Do they have equivalent forms at, like an equivalent equation? What you do to solve an equation, if I add two to both sides, for instance, in this case, two plus two would give me four. Is four less than six? Yes, that's true. Adding both sides when they're negative, adding negative two and positive two, you get zero. Adding um, positive two and negative four, you get negative two. Zero is greater than negative two, and four is less than six. So yes, when you add two to both sides of an inequality, greater than or less than, you're going to still have a true inequality or an equivalent inequality. Can you subtract the same value to both sides of an inequality and will it remain true? So subtracting two from both sides, two minus two is zero, four minus two is two, zero is less than two. Okay, what if I started off with negative numbers? Is negative two greater than negative four? Yes. If I subtract two from both sides, negative two, take away two more, I get negative four. Negative four, take away two more, I get negative six. Is negative four greater than negative six? Yes, that's true. So both times, subtracting two from both sides, my inequality is equivalent. It's still a true statement. Remember, subtracting is the same thing as adding the opposite, so it has to work for negative. Big note here. Can you multiply both sides of an inequality by the same positive value? Will it remain true? Okay. Well, 2 is less than 4. That's true. If I multiply both sides by 3, well, 2 times 3 is 6, and 4 times 3 is 12, yes, 6 is less than 12. It started off as 2 is less than 4, 3 times greater. 6 is still less than 12. That's true. Both of these are true. So negative 2 is greater than negative 4. That's true. If I multiply both sides by 3, as you can see here, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And uh, negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. Negative 6 is greater than negative 12 because negative 2 was greater than negative 4. And multiplying by 3 on both sides of the inequality is still a true statement. So that's still true. Multiplying by a positive value, it remains true. Well, what about dividing? So we've done adding, subtracting, multiplying. Let's check dividing. But the key thing is here is dividing by a positive number. Will it still remain true? Well, it starts off 2 is less than 4. That's a true statement. And negative 2 is greater than negative 4. So those are true. If I divide both sides by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 1 is less than 2, that's a true statement. Dividing by 2 on both sides, negative 2 divided by 2 gives me negative 1, negative 4 divided by positive 2 gives me negative 2, negative 1 is greater than negative 2. Because negative 2 is greater than negative 4, and when you divide by a positive on both sides, you still get an equivalent true inequality. That's true. So my statements are still true. However, what happens with multiplying and dividing by a negative? Notice that that was the key idea here, that I was dividing by a positive, and on the multiplying part, it was multiplying by a positive. If you multiply by a negative number, so here, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 3. 2 is less than 4. That's true. We all know that. When I multiply both sides of this inequality by negative 3, 
I get negative 6 is less than negative 12. Uh-oh, that's not true. Negative 6 is greater than negative 12. This statement is false. This is false. If I multiply a negative times a negative, so again, I'm multiplying on both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 2 gives me positive 6. Negative 3 times negative 4 gives me positive 12. Is 6 greater than 12? No, 6 is not greater than 12. 6 is less than 12. But if I leave this symbol multiplying by a negative on both sides, I get another false statement. That's false. 6 is not greater than 12. Not greater than 12. Can you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative? Multiplying both sides by a negative, nope, we do not get an equivalent inequality. So let's try dividing by a negative. 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Is negative 1 less than negative 2? No, this is false. False statement. Starting with negatives and dividing by negative, negative 2 divided by negative 2 is positive 1. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is positive 2. Is 1 greater than 2? No. It's false. So this is also false. Not a true statement. So multiplying and dividing by a negative is false. So what you have to do, and you saw that I did it here, I did it in these examples up above here. If I switch the symbol when I multiply or divide by a negative, then I will get a true statement. This is true. But notice I switched the symbol. And here, this is also true. Negative 6 is greater than negative 12. Notice that I switched the symbol. So, when solving inequalities, use the same rules as equations, x when multiplying or dividing by a negative, the thing that you're multiplying by or the thing that you're dividing by, when you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to switch the sign to make the sentence an equivalent true inequality. Here's an example. 2x is greater, 2 times what number is greater than or equal to 16? Well, if I divide both sides by 2, x has to be greater than or equal to 8. Yes, that's true. That's a true statement. This is true. I divided by a positive. This is a positive. Dividing by positive 2. Negative 2 times what number is greater than or equal to 16? How do I solve this multiplying equation, or inequality, excuse me? I divide by negative 2. I'm dividing by negative 2 on both sides. When I divide by a negative, you have to flip the sign because only numbers that are less than or equal to negative 8, like negative 10 for instance, or negative 9, because negative 2 times negative 10, is that greater than or equal to 16? Well, let's see. Negative 2 times negative 10, that's positive 20. Yes, 20 is greater than or equal to 16. But if I had not switched this symbol, Say I got the answer x is greater than or equal to negative 8. Let's say I put negative 5 into this expression. Negative 2 times negative 5, is that greater than or equal to 16? Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. Oh, positive 10 is not greater than or equal to 16. That's false. So if you don't switch that symbol like you see here, you're going to get a false statement. You have to switch it. 